In part three, we're going to create a web service library. We're going to modify the interface. We're going to add a data access component and a connection manager from, from lesson three. We're going to add a connection string to the app config. We're going to create the web service methods. We're going to create and configure a WCF service. And we're going to publish and host the WCF service. In Visual Studio, let's do File, New, Project. Let's select WFC and then WFC Service Library and let's call this Lesson 8 LIB. Let's close this down and let's go rename this file to be I C S T A T U S. Yes. And let's rename this to C S T A T U S. In our app config, let's let's rename these service ones to to C status. Everywhere that we have service one, we want to rename it to C status. Be sure you leave the I there. Save this and close it down. Let's go into our iStatus. Let's delete this. Let's delete this. And we can delete this data contract because we're not going to use that. Let's rename this to Hello world. Let's rename this one to Bool. Is premium company. Take the string and company ID. Close that down. Let's make add new folder, call it app code. And add new folder data access. Let's right click on data access, add existing item. Navigate to where you saved your lesson three and add the company data access component and right click add uh, the connection manager let's open up the company deck change that to 8 lib open up the connection manager at 8 lib In the company data access component, we're not going to use any of these functions. Well, make sure we change it to lesson. <laughs> we're not going to use all these functions, so let's delete all of them out. And we'll come back and we'll add some, uh, the function we need to this file in a few minutes. So let's close this down. Let's go add a kind of connection string to our app configs file. In the configuration, connection strings, let's add name lesson 8, and then the connection string. I'm not going to show you what this connection string is because it's a connection string to my database on the hosted server. So if you're doing this yourself, you need to 
create your own uh, con connection string here. So let's close this down. We need to go add a reference. Add a reference so that our connection manager will work. So we need to add the system.configuration component. So let's open our C status file and let's add using system.data and using system.data.sql client. So let's delete this note. And let's delete these two functions, methods. So let's add our hello world method. And it's just going to return a string. You can put any string you want in here. So now we're going to add the is premium company method. So notice here that I'm going to return a bool in this in this example, but in the in part one and part two, uh, the function actually returns a yes or a no or a y or an n. So make make a note of that. 